Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? I hope that you had a wonderful evening with your mommy and daddy. Are you ready for circle time with Mrs. Juanita? Okay then, well let's get going. Remember when I point to you, you need to say your name, okay? Alrighty, and we have a visitor this morning, okay? So, are you ready to meet my visitor? Let's see. She's coming in a minute. This is my friend Annie. Say good morning to Annie boys and girls. Good morning boys and girls. My name is Annie. How are you? Oh, hi Annie. It's so good that you could visit with us today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, have a seat, Annie, and we are going to do circle time together. So Annie's going to sit right here with me. Are you ready? Okay. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you this morning? It's good to see. Here, it's good to see. Annie, here it's good to see Miss Juanita here. How are you this morning? Yay, very good, boys and girls. Give yourselves a pat on the shoulder. Good job. And now we are going to say bye-bye, ta-ta to Annie, because Annie's got to go to her own class. But she just wanted to come in and say hello. I have lots of friends in all the classes. Just like you do, some of you. So let's say bye to Honey. Bye, boys and girls. I hear my mommy calling me. I have to go now. I'll be back to see you again. Bye. Okay, so Annie is going. Yes. Bye-bye, Annie. Please come back and see us another time. Okay, boys and girls, good job. Um, I like when my friends come to visit. So, do you know what time it is now, boys and girls? It's time for the day of the week. And let's get going. Let's sing our song. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I want to take this so I can show you. Yesterday was Wednesday. W -w Wednesday. Do you know which day comes after Wednesday, boys and girls? If you said Thursday, you're correct. Today is Thursday. May, A, May 21, 2020. So, Today is Thursday. We'll put a sticker right on Thursday. And which number comes after 20, boys and girls? Which number comes after 20? If you said 21, you are correct. And this is the number 21. So we are going to write the number 21. I already did it, but we're going to go over it. So... You take your marker or your crayon and you make the number two, just like that. Two. And then the number one behind it. So a two in the front and a one behind it. That is how we write 21. So it is... Thursday, May 21st, because we say that when we're talking about the calendar, 2020. Very good, boys and girls. 
give yourselves a clap all right so what do we do now boys and girls who remembers do you remember okay here we have our guardian angel and what does the guardian angel remind us to do our guardian angel reminds us to pray very good boys and girls so we pray to jesus to help us to be safe in this corona season very good you pray for your mommy and your daddy matter of fact let us pray right now close your eyes bow your heads fold your hands say dear jesus please help us to be safe thank you for waking us this morning thank you for our family and friends help us to be good listeners and bless all our teachers in jesus name we pray amen good job boys and girls now we are going to do our numbers are you ready let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Very good, boys and girls. And now for our ABCs. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! Give yourselves a clap, boys and girls. Yay, very good, very good. Now, I want to show you the art wall. Now, this is what we did. We did M for mother, and we add G for garden, F for flower. We made a kite. When we spoke about children around the world, we made a bat. When we spoke about animals that insects in the garden we made butterflies too we made a fan for children around the world china and i don't know if you can see this one but we made a flower for the flower garden that we did very good boys and girls and on Wednesday, we made our daddies. I think that was Tuesday we made our daddy. On Tuesday, we made daddy. This D, this is the letter D. D says D. D says D. Every letter has a sound and D says D. D for dad. And this is Miss Juanita's version of her daddy. Because Miss Juanita can't draw people. <laughs> Can you draw people? That's a good thing. Yeah. If you can draw um, people, give yourselves a pat on the shoulder, boys and girls. That's so cool if you can draw people now. Which song would you like to sing? 
before we do our weather, I want to do a song this morning. I know that you guys love to sing. Which song do you want to sing this morning? Let's see. Oh, my gracious, old MacDonald at a farm. Yeah, let's do that one. Old MacDonald at a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm there was a pig. E-I-E-I-O. What does the pig say? Oink, oink. That's correct. With a oink, oink here and a oink, oink there. Here a oink, there a oink. Everywhere a oink, oink. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Can you think of another animal that's on the farm? Hmm. How about, oh. oh, what animal is this? Our friend Lammy came back to say hello. He couldn't resist when he heard about an old McDonald's farm. So which animal is this one? Oh. Did you say, uh, lamb? Oh, correct. A lamb is a baby sheep. So let's go. And on that farm there was a lamb. E-I-E-I-O. What does a lamb say, boys and girls? <sighs> ba yay! With a ba ba here and a ba ba there. Here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba ba. Oh, MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Can you tell me another animal that lives on the farm? <gasps> a doggy! Yes, what does the doggy say? Woof, woof. That's right. Let's go. And with a woof, woof here and a woof, woof there. Here a woof, there a woof, everywhere a woof, woof. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm there was a something that says quack, quack. Ooh, a dog. Yes. And on that farm there was a duck. E-I-E-I-O. What does the duck say? Quack, quack. With a quack, quack here and a quack, quack there. Here a quack, there a quack. Everywhere a quack, quack. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Can you think of any more animals that live on the farm? Ah. Uh, Horsey, how could we forget a horsey? What does the horsey say? Nay! Oh, that's right. Let's do it. And on that farm there was a horsey, E-I-E-I-O, with a nay-nay here and a nay-nay there. Here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay-nay. Oh, MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O And Miss Juanita just remembered something else that lives on the farm And it has big horns And it says moo Do you know what that is? A cow Oh my gracious, you guys are so smart and on that farm there lives a cow, E-I-E-I-O. What does the cow say, boys and girls? Moo, with a moo moo here and a moo moo there. There a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Oh, MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Very good, boys and girls, yay. All right. So now we are ready for the weather. Can you look out your window and tell me what it's like out there today? <sighs> out my window today, it is partly cloudy. Do you know why Miss Juanita says partly cloudy? Because it's not all sun. And it's not all clouds, so it's a little bit of sun and some clouds, so partly cloudy. Very good, boys and girls. So, today, Miss Juanita brought her... Did you hear that sound? 
I bought a special instrument today, a music instrument. A music instrument is something that you can play that gives a sound that can make music. And ta -da! do you know what this is called? It's called a maracas. And this is made, this one was made in Jamaica. Miss Juanita bought it last year when she went on vacation. But we just call it a shaker because you shake it and it makes sounds. So are you ready to sing with me this morning? We are going to do Jesus Loves the Little Children. Ready? If you have an instrument, you go get your instrument and come back, okay? If you have one. If you don't have one, you can just clap your hands. All right. So let's go. I hope you found your instrument. So let's have a seat. Sit down and let's sing. Jesus loves little children. Here we go. Jesus loves the little children. All the children of the world, red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. One more time. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world, like you and you and you, red and yellow, black and white. They are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Yay! Jesus loves the little children. So, today we are still talking about dad. And yesterday we made something for Dad, do you remember what that was? We used Play-Doh to make a special gift for Dad. And I'm going to show you the pictures of that later. Today, I just want to tell you a story about when I was a little girl and my daddy. When I was a little girl, my daddy used to go to the farm. Back in Jamaica, some people say bush or the field. And at his farm, he used to plant lots and lots of banana trees, plantain trees. Um, these trees may have different names in your country. I do not know the names of some of them, but back home in Jamaica, we used to plant um, red fruits and yams, um, name, uh, you may call it. We used to plant um, cassava, which um, over here, it's, it grows under the ground and we dig it up when it's ready to be eaten and we peel it and put it in the pot and cook it. And Miss Juanita would love a lot of those. So anyway, I used to go to the bush with my daddy. My daddy used to walk with a machete, not to hurt people, but to cut away the bushes and the weeds so that we could uh, plant things. So while my daddy was planting yams, name, and uh, choyote, which we call chocho, and my daddy would plant peas and beans, Miss Juanita would take a little stick and I would dig a little hole and I would put three grains of corn in the hole and three grains of red beans. And I would cover it up. And then Miss Juanita would put a little bit of water that she took from the river in there. And after we did that, 
if my mommy comes with us, sometimes my mommy used to come, we would go down to the river and we would bathe in the river and we would, oh my gosh, we had such a wonderful time in the river because, so I don't eat shrimp, which in Jamaica, if it comes from the river, they call it janga. So my big brother and so would catch janga from the river and they would lift up the stones and you would see it's it's like a shrimp or crayfish or crawfish as some people call it here crawdad and they lift it up and they would run away and i was scared of them because they had claws but they really didn't really hurt you but i was just scared of them and so while we were bathing and frolicking in the water and thing, my mommy would put on a big pot and she would put water in the pot and there would be a fire underneath the pot. And my mommy loved to cook soup. Did you know that Miss Juanita loves soup? I love soup. How many of you out there love soup? If you love soup, raise your hand. Good job. And my mommy would peel the food in this pot we put everything when we cook soup in jamaica if she was cooking oh they use the the um janga or crawdad to make soup well i only drank the soup i did not eat the crawdad you know like i don't like green eggs and am some i am well that's miss Juanita. i don't like crawdads so anyway my mommy would throw the crawdads in the pot and she would put the yam, the name, the coco malanga, uh, the choyote chocho in the pot, and the pumpkin calabaza. And then she would put Jamaican chicken noodle. Mm, that's different from every other one that I know. And then she would put in escalion and thyme and garlic. Those sound kind of yucky for kids, but they make your food taste nice. And while we were playing and bathing and carrying on and having fun in the water, just jumping up in the water with an adult watching us, even though the water was very shallow, it didn't come above your ankle. There was places you could sit down and let the water just run over you. And, oh my gracious, I wish you guys could go and see some of these places in Jamaica. I'm sure there are places here in Florida where you may be able to do that. But, oh my, going up in Jamaica, it was fun. So I had fun with my daddy. And after we finished bathing and mama finished cooking, everybody would come together and we would eat. Sometimes we would bathe after we eat and we are almost ready to go home. But usually you bathe while the sun was still hot because sometimes the river water is very cold. Not cold like in America, but in Jamaica, uh, yeah, it can be cold for us. Yeah, with our temperature down there. But it was very, very, very nice and refreshing. And we had lots of fun. Sometimes my daddy would drive to the field, the farm or the bush, whatever you call it in your country. But sometimes we would walk and just take a, a, a nice walk about a mile down from the road from our house and go to the bush and my daddy would bring his gardening tools his machete his shovel or uh, or his fork mostly not his shovel his fork his machete and his fork his machete for chopping away any um bushes that he needed to clear and his fork for tilling the ground to dig up the ground with the fork and to plant his seeds and a lot of times he had to make a big fire and put green bushes on it because there were lots of mosquitoes because it's like a, a forest a woodland and there was no houses there and because of the river and the leaves fall off the trees and they um catch water and mosquitoes would come from those things so we had to make a big smoke to run them away sometimes the smoke ran us away too 
<laughs> oh my gracious, that was so funny. So those are some of the things that I did with my daddy when I was little and I really loved that. My daddy used to take me to Christmas shopping too. Ooh, I love that one. But that story is for Christmas, not right now. Uh, but I used to love going out with my daddy. Because when I go out with my daddy, my daddy buys me stuff. Stuff that I wouldn't normally get. My daddy would buy for me. So I loved my daddy. Okay, boys and girls. My daddy went to see Jesus right now. So I can't go see my daddy now. But later, I, uh, I hope that I will be able to see my daddy. But you have your daddy right beside you. What do you like to do with your daddy? Today, if you have your daddy, give your daddy a big hug and a kiss. And say, I love you, daddy. Okay, boys and girls. So, until we... Come back for the next lesson. Miss Juanita is going to say, see you in a minute. Okay, boys and girls? All right.